Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on graphical inequalities. This is the third video on the topic, so if you've not watched the first two, I recommend you watch those first. Here we're just going to go through an example question. So we've got this example here. Shade the region of a graph that satisfies the inequalities. Y is greater than 2, X is greater than or equal to minus 1, and Y is less than minus X plus 5. And then we've got to mark it with a letter A. Now let's just remind ourselves that strict inequalities, so that's less than or greater than, uh, these are represented by a dashed line on a graph and then inclusive inequalities so that's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to these are represented by a solid line on a set of axes so the first line that we're going to draw is this line y is greater than 2 so this is a strict inequality so we're going to need to use a dashed line uh, but we're going to treat this as the line y equals 2 uh, so this is a horizontal line through uh, the point 2 on the y axes so the, the line is going to look like this. So as I say, it's a dashed line because this is a strict inequality. Uh, so next, let's move on to the uh, inequality x is greater than or equal to minus 1. So we're going to treat this as the line x equals minus 1. This time we're going to need to use uh, a solid line and it's going to be a vertical line through the point minus 1 on the x-axis. So the line is going to look like this. So it's a solid line because this is an inclusive inequality. So let's just label both of these on the graph here. So we've got y is greater than 2 for the blue one, and then for the red one we've got x is greater than or equal to minus 1. So the final line that we're going to draw is y is less than minus x plus 5. And so uh, this is effectively in the form y equals mx plus c. So we're going to draw the line y equals minus x plus 5. Uh, but here, again, we've got a strict inequality, so this has to be a dashed line. Uh, but the line itself is going to go through uh, 5 on the y-axis. That's the y-intercept, and it's going to have a gradient of minus 1. This means that for every one square we go across, we go one square down. And as I say, we need to draw a dashed line here, because it's a strict inequality. So the line is going to look something like this. So... Uh, now all that's left to do is shade the region that's bound by these three lines. So that's going to be this region here. And when you do this in an exam, uh, make sure to use a pencil. And then we just have to label this region with an A like so. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.